my absolute most favorite, hands down, the best candlestick formation that I trade and I've been trading it for years is the three line strike. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you all about the three line strike and how efficient it is and what it actually means to trade a three line strike. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. What is the number one rule of day trading? Come on, say it with me. The trend is your friend. When price is trending in a certain direction, it will always retrace a little bit and then continue in that direction. How do you know when that retracement is over? It's usually a three-line strike. A three-line strike is depicted like this. Three candles in one direction, faking out the move, and then one big candle engulfing down or up that is a trend continuation move. I'm going to keep this video under five minutes so that you guys can get to trading as soon as possible on a demo account with this and then move to a live account. All right. New trends usually start with a massive, huge moving candle. This candle right here was about 25 pips. This is a momentum moving candle. The previous trend was an uptrend. This candle right here broke that trend, which subsequently made it lose its market structure, preventing it from making higher highs and higher lows, and the next high was a lower high, thus meaning a new trend is forming. If you simply took every single three line strike, now this is on a five minute chart. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three line strikes. Let's put two more trades up and we can't take that last one because it goes against the rules, which I will explain in just a minute. So within 14 hours and 20 minutes, trading with the trend, only getting three line strikes, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, profitable trades. Every single one of these trades entered at the close of a three line strike with a 10 pip stop loss and a 20 pip take profit. So if you risk 1% of your account for a 2% gain, that means that in 14 hours, you could have gotten 16% profit on your account in less than one day. During this entire thing, you can see that market structure was never broken. It continued to make higher highs and higher lows. Once it got to here, it broke market structure. That right there is the end of a trend. Now, just for reference, I would not take every single one of these trades because I strictly trade London session. London open starts at 9 a.m. London time. I'm on the charts around 6 a.m. London time. So from 6 a.m. till 10 a.m., that is my trading window. This is just an example of all of the trades that happened during this trend. The reason this trade took so long is because of low liquidity during Asian session or Tokyo session. So what you're looking for is three bullish candles and one bearish candle. Enter on close of candle, 10 pip stop loss, 20 pip take profit. Second entry right here, three candles up, one candle down, enter at close of candle. Ignore three line strikes in the opposite direction of a trend. You are only trading with the trend with this strategy. Three candles up, one engulfing candle down, enter trade at close of candle. Always wait for close of candle. Do not get in early, don't force a trade. Three candles up, one engulfing down, enter. Again, and again, and again, and again, this last one right here, I would not take because that engulfing candle is too big for my liking. I like it to fit within 10 pips. This one candle was 11 pips, which means my stop loss would have to be up here, which is a 15 pip stop loss, which I'm uncomfortable with when it comes to scalping because then I'm looking for a 30 pip move, which I know is harder to get than a 20 pip move. So market structure was broken right here. So we are looking for the next uptrend, right? Now we are looking for bullish three line strikes. We only got one during this uptrend before it broke market structure and failed to make higher highs, which means we are now looking for a downtrend because the market is cyclical. Enter, 
10 pip stop loss, 20 pip take profit, and you keep on doing this depending on what the trend is doing. If it breaks market structure, you are looking for the opposite trend. Now, this is not an end all be all 100% winning strategy because as you can see here with a 10 pip stop loss and a 20 pip take profit, you got stopped out right here, but then you got another entry right afterwards, 10 pip stop loss and a 20 pip take profit. Then you got stopped out again as the market failed to continue the trend, breaking market structure, and now you're looking for uptrend. So then you will only take the bullish three line strikes until that market structure is broken. This consistently gets me a 70 to 75% win rate when I trade during my market hours. If you back test this throughout every single session and get 100 back tested trades in, you will see which session it works the best on and which currency pair you prefer. I like Australian dollar and US dollar as well as GBP USD. I talk about three line strikes in like 35 to 50% of my videos, it is my end all be all favorite way to trade. So if you guys wanna try this, you know exactly what to do. Watch this video five, six, 55 times, whatever you prefer, get this in your head, follow market structure. When the structure breaks, look for a new trend. It's gonna be a short trend or a long trend. Just keep trading that trend until the market structure is broken. Then look for the new trend and follow those three line strikes in either direction. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like the way that I teach, I would really appreciate a big fat thumbs up on this video. It helps me a lot and keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys. And if you want to learn more about this five-minute strategy, click this video right here, and we will see you in the next one.